Hey guys, um, I'm going to take you through some of the things I've been working on while I've been sitting here um, just kind of thinking, I go through things, things that come to my mind, I, I write them down, I keep notebooks, so um, I'm just going to go through some of these things. See the retina, you guys? Your eyes, the color. The more vegetables and fruits and stuff that you eat, the more you're in the presence of God, the better you will feel. See? I am not an alien. I am not. I am not an alien. People are nuts. Nuts like me. They've made me crazy, people. Okay, enough playing. Um, salvation in Christ, you guys. The kingdom wakes us up, okay? And, it's in, and it lays us down. Meaning that we rest in that salvation of Christ. The forgiveness of sins. The presence of the Holy Spirit. Like God hugging you. Okay, God is real, real. He is pure. He is true. He is eternal. Christ's blood has ransomed you. It has ransomed all of us. Grace is free. No chains on me. The eye of the world is in God's sight. This is God watches the world. The world watches God. This is like we watch God. This is like the evil watches God. And then there's a balance going on that goes back and forth and back and forth. Okay, and just like the tent expands because open up the gates and let it go. Every time someone does that, the kingdom expands. These gates of salvation to make this first resurrection, which you come to a new resurrection of life through Christ, you come to a new resurrection of understanding, but to have this eternal life, to be a soul survivor, you see, a soul survivor, you take this first resurrection. Now, these, now those gates will be shut when we change from flesh to spirit at the end. In the flesh sense. And then the babies, the people that were murdered and so on, get retaught on the Lord's Day, you guys. This, so they can have that chance of salvation. Christ's glory goes far beyond all things that we can imagine, okay? No longer are these gates locked, you guys. All praise goes to God the Most High. Unending love, God's mercy reigns. We lay up the treasures in heaven, okay? The love of righteousness for what's right. And we stand up and we keep our candle burning because we hold the keys in our hearts. See, the blood of Christ, the water, the salvation. Okay, light in all darkness is Christ, you guys. It's Jesus, the tree of life. We must move. God has done much, okay? Now, we do what we can do. And when He we move, He moves. Forgiveness of sins by the blood of Jesus Christ was a great gift, you guys. Otherwise, you were held accountable. Christ became our Passover, that one-time sacrifice. So every time we mess up, you guys, where we should be um, having to sacrifice an animal, Christ is there, and he makes that sacrifice for you. Fifty days later came the free gift of the Spirit, you guys, the Holy Spirit, that no person can boast. Life everlasting from that cross, you guys. What Christ did for us, don't ever forget. He brought life by death. Christ became our Passover lamb, that one sacrifice, 24-7, you guys. Healed from sin, pain, sorrow, all sickness, all things possible with God. Christ's blood gave us strength at a great price, you guys. That ransom, and we're free to claim it upon your belief. Thank God for what he did, all he's done. 
and all to come because we know there's overflow and greater things to come even through this hard time you guys even through trouble and turmoils and tribulation life everlasting elevation is knowing believe on Christ Jesus the risen Jesus you guys what do you say it is finished didn't he from 12 to 3 the temple was black and at 3 o'clock he said it is finished and the temple was rent, the veil was rent. That means the flyaway rip was ripped open from top to bottom, was exposed. This is one rock. It's all I see. Jesus lives in hearts. That's all we see, you guys, is that one mountain, that salvation of truth. And just like he grew in us, that little faith of a mustard seed grew to something big, didn't it? inside of you and grew you to much see I put a little much life at the base of your mountain of Christ in you that was already there that you rediscovered and started out like a little hill and grew into a great one that holds you today that you can't be shaken see the temple the rocks the veil salvation freedom open to all you guys for eternity these gates are open you guys and don't let no one trick you and tell you otherwise do you feel that confirmation of the Holy Spirit when you talk to him when you accept Christ do not let anyone rob you from that do not let anyone steer you away from your salvation and have you question on the Lord Jesus Christ because he is true he was the Son of God the only begotten Son immaculate conception by Mary December 25th is when the Holy Spirit began dwelling on earth. That's why we celebrate Christmas. The Christmas tree is the evergreen. There is the pagan side of it, but the evergreen, the tree of life. See, people put in Santa Claus. Santa Claus is Satan Claus. But to celebrate the 25th is not evil. 25th is what we should be celebrating because we are spirit, not flesh. But Christ birthday by spirit was September 29th round about September at the end of September okay that's the same time when we look at prophecy when it the second advent should be right around September July like I've been saying Satan should expose himself or towards the end of it I'm saying middle more towards the end definitely more towards the end with the months being off you know, it might be a couple of days in August, but I'm shooting for July, and we'll see. We got these events coming up, you guys, but the most important thing, if you're feeling the Holy Spirit, keep it up. Keep that communication with God, and anything extra you do, you see, you're just building more. You're building yourself stronger through these trials, and you're adding to yourself and not tearing yourself down, making yourself lose the feeling of that spirit because you're in a walk if you're feeling the spirit every day you guys you're doing great and keep it up and if it does go from you for a few days or a little bit remember about Job and that we are tested and it's not that you did anything wrong this I like to take of it as God sent the spirit somewhere else for a minute you guys so if you know you didn't do anything wrong don't deny yourself or, de or question God because he loves you. He loves all his children. I love you guys. Till next time. Bye.